Let's check in with Court to find out if it's a good weekend to enjoy that event or others outside this weekend. Court? Well, Kelly, it's certainly not going to rain on that parade as we head through this weekend. We are seeing dry conditions persisting and heading out. The big impact is going to be the cold morning today as well as the next couple of days. After that, the afternoons, while they're a little brisk, not too shabby if you're trying to get outside for that fresh air. And it's going to be great conditions for the afternoons this weekend. Similar tomorrow to what we're seeing today, but a bit warmer on Sunday with a few more clouds overhead. As far as what's going on this morning, here's that live look at Highway 99 in Butte County, just south of Chico. Yesterday, this exact shot was absolutely socked in with fog. We're not seeing that this morning. Fog is very limited as far as where we're seeing it. It's just south of the Oregon border into our south towards Sacramento right now. We're not seeing any visibility impacts at the moment across any parts of the valley for our neck of the woods. 30s to low 40s in the valley right now, 20s to mid 30s in the foothills. Negative 5 degrees in Alturas, but most mountain zones are currently ranging from the upper single digits to lower 30s. We're seeing wind out of the northeast up to 10 miles an hour for the northern end of the valley right now. This is the only reason why we're not in the 30s exclusively across the board in the valley. Those downslope north winds keeping temperatures artificially a bit warmer in their lower elevations. Gusts today up to around 20 to 30 miles an hour early to midday. Not quite as substantial for the afternoon. 10 to 20 miles an hour by your commute home. And then those winds do get lighter heading in to your Saturday forecast. And that's going to result in chilly temperatures tomorrow morning. Much colder than what we're seeing today. Winds do pick up a little bit on Sunday, but they're not even going to get as strong as what we're seeing outside this morning. Satellite and radar clear skies overhead right now. That's not going to change throughout the day today as high pressure off the coast is the dominant feature in your forecast. You can see the arc in the clouds off the coast. That ridge that we're seeing building in from the Pacific is keeping the storm track to the north. So that's what's going to keep us dry for the next several days. And it's also going to keep some clouds overhead as the system passes through to our north on Sunday. But for the most part, we're just staying dry and sunny in the next seven days. So your future cast for today, early to midday, we have clear skies, 5 p.m. for your commute home, still clear. Clear skies overnight into early tomorrow. That's when we'll see a few thin clouds just passing overhead. So we'll call it mostly sunny skies for your Saturday. Saturday night into Sunday, we do have more cloud cover starting to track down into our region. That will leave us with partly cloudy skies for parts of our region by Sunday afternoon. But those clear out as that system exits to the east. And then we have clear skies for the better part of next week. Low temperatures are going to be a bit brisk, but not as cold as what we're seeing this morning. High temperatures climbing heading through next week. So for today, sunshine on the way. Temperatures 40s to low 50s in the northern mountains, 30s to low 40s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothills in the upper 30s to low 50s. And if you're in the valley today, it's low to mid 50s across the board. 55 degrees in Redding and Red Bluff, Chico 53 degrees, 55 in Orville. So it's going to be very similar for our high temperatures today to what we saw yesterday, and we'll have plenty of sunshine overhead. So grab the jackets and ice scrapers this morning and keep the sunglasses handy. Tomorrow, Almost identical for the afternoon, but colder for the morning due to the lighter winds. A little warmer with more clouds passing through on Sunday. And then low, low temperatures getting a bit warmer heading through next week with high temperatures. Mid to upper 50s Sunday and Monday. Low to mid 60s Tuesday through the middle of next week. So it's getting a little bit warmer as well for the afternoons, Kelly. Some very welcome news if you're trying to get outside for outdoor activities in your extended forecast.